Hey everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. Uh, I think that's really all that I know. So, I hope everybody's doing good. It is I, Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Things are a little slow right now. It's snowing outside. I'm waiting on some parts to come in. So I'm finishing up my ATV and um, I'm also doing some electrical work on some other stuff. And while I was uh, putting together my ATV and uh, my mower and also this Corvette that I'm dealing with. I wanted to show you some couple different relays. I should probably turn the music down just a second. And in case you're wondering, I'm training a new dog to stick by my side at all times. So this is Ruby. If you can see her, good girl, sit. <laughs> She's in good training right now, so. Alrighty, so let's talk about relays. Let's talk about relays in the automotive world. Um, what are they used for? To keep it simple, without a chalkboard and four hours of explanation, I would say we use them to control a high amperage system or unit with a low amperage. So. Let's say an on-off switch, that would be a low amp system to turn on your headlights, which would be a high amp system, or even, even a, the on-off switch for, in, in your ignition system. When you turn your ignition switch on, that's low amp, and then you have a relay that now goes to high amp that starts your car down at the starter and all that other stuff. So. A lot of times, this is what relays will look like. You'll see them. Get some light for you here. This is what uh, relays will look like, or sometimes they'll be even smaller. And uh, a lot of times they're black or brown or red. And what you can do is you can dissect them, you can cut them open, you can scrape the glue away, and you can pull the top off. And there you have it. Okay. And inside of a relay, what you're going to have is you're going to have a resistor or a diode, which makes a relay directional. And then you'll have a coil. And when you provide 12 volts or when you provide power to this coil, it then creates a magnetic field, which magnetizes and then pulls and closes your switch. Bam. And then there you have it. Okay. And that's a simple turn. This relay. It's no good, it's burnt out. That diode is no longer working correctly and uh, it's burnt out. So that'll just give you an idea of what they look like. And then I've got a smaller relay and this is out of a 85 Corvette. This is out of a 96 S10, a Chevy S10. And as you can see, pretty much the same thing. This one also, and I hope the, the video is good here. Inside of there has a little diode, a resistor that makes it directional. And then here's your coil. And once that, once you provide power, that magnetizes and then closes the switch. Okay, now I am going to show you how it works internally. And you can do this many different ways. You can, uh, you can use a power probe, you can hook up a car battery and a couple of leads to check them. But let me show you now, when you provide 12 volts to this switch, I'll show you what happens. See that, there you go. Closes, opens, closes opens okay so when you hear things clicking and clacking underneath there more than likely it's going to be your relays working and this is a good way to check and double check relays as well you can go ahead and dissect them don't be scared to dissect them and then just go ahead and there you got it 
All right, folks. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, showing you how automotive relay works. Thank you for supporting me. Please like, subscribe, and share. I am signing off.